Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new, welcome. Thank you guys for stopping by. So today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I treat my dry scalp at home. And this is the Sweet Almond Oil. It's rich in magnesium, calcium, and zinc. It is a good source of protein and it helps to treat dry scalp. So along with this oil, I'm going to be using the Jamaican Black Castor Oil. And this is from Jamaica. I get um, a few bottles a year that, you know, last me for a long time. All right, so this promotes hair growth, it prevents hair loss, and it's antibacterial. I'm going to be using a mix-in bowl, a brush, two combs, and butterfly clips. All right, so now I'm just going to be measuring out the amount of black um, Jamaican black castor oil that I'm going to be using. You can always add more later. But you don't want to add too much and then you're going to have to um, store it for the next time. So you can always add later. Now I'm just going to be adding the almond oil. And I'm just eyeballing this as I go. If I need more, I can add more. The whole point is just so it's easy to distribute over my scalp and it's not too thick. So right here I'm just showing you the consistency. And then I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you can see what I'm going to be doing. So first, before I add the oil to my scalp, I usually rake my scalp. And this is the best that my scalp has ever been. Um, I'm going to try and do a video when it's in, you know, a uh, worse state than it is right now. Um... You guys are going to see later on that some parts have more dandruff than the other. Um, I have been using this technique maybe for a few months now and it has been working. I'm just going to speed this up um, for a little bit and then I'll be back. All right, so as you can see, um, as I go towards my ear, it gets more and more. Um, this is usually my problem area on both sides of my head. Um, trust me, it gets worse than this where, you know, the flakes are as big as um, cornflakes. I'm sorry if you guys are grossed out, but um, I am going to put in the title, you know, something where you guys can read it before you watch the video if you're going to be grossed out. So, um, I'm going to continue to let you guys watch and I'll come back later. I'm going to hop to the next side so you guys can see what the other side looks like. And then I'm going to come back when I have to oil my scalp.
All right, guys, so right now I'm just sectioning my hair into four, two in the back and two in the front, and then I am going to secure that with some butterfly clips. I really should be using something else, but this is what I grabbed. Um, so after that, then I'm going to add the oil to my scalp. Here I'm just mixing the oils um, together before I apply them. This brush you can get it from a Target, Walmart, your beauty supply store. I'm not sure if the dollar store sells it, but you can get it from anywhere, Walgreens, CVS. Um, I've had this since um, when I used to perm my hair. Stylists use it for coloring, you know, it's um, anyways, so I'm applying this, these oils to my scalp to help my, um, my scalp to recover from, you know, the raking of the dandruff and hopefully it will give me some moisture for a few days until they show up again. I just think, um, it's something that I'm going to have to deal with for the rest of my life because it's been like this for... For a few years now and um, you know my sister has it my mother has it um, I don't know I don't remember having this when I was younger um, or when I used to live um, in another country um, I don't know some people might say it's probably the water or the food that I'm eating but you know how it goes when you know it comes to dieting and everything Anyways, so um, this is just um, repetitive, so I'm just going to speed this up, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and learn something from the video. Um, I'll see you guys in a little while. Alright guys, so now the section is done, I'm going to secure it with a big hair tie because the small ones, they are too small, obviously, and the butterfly clips, I have to use like more than one to um, secure the front because it's shorter than the back. Anyways, I'm going to move on to the next section and I'll see you guys in a bit. So whatever's left in my container, I pour out some in my hands and then I'm going to massage um, my scalp and my, um, my hair shaft with the oil so, you know, everything can be saturated and moisturized before I apply my um, shower cap and my steam cap. Can't forget the front, and of course, you can't forget your edges because you need those edges. Alright, so now I'm going to apply the shower cap 
I did not know they sell extra large. Oh my God. I was jumping for joy when I saw these in the hair um, beauty supply store. I had to call my sister. I'm like, oh my God, did you know they sell extra large shower caps? She's like, of course I have them. I'm like, well, now I do. Anyways, so um, after I applied that, I have this new um, steam cap that I bought from Amazon. I forgot how much I paid for it, but I will link it down below in the description box. Um, all you have to do is put it in the microwave for two minutes and it stays hot for, I think, 20 minutes. But I leave it on for 30 minutes. So I will see you guys in the next few minutes, but I leave it on for 30 minutes. All right, guys, so I'm going to wash this out with the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling Shampoo my favorite shampoo and I washed my hair already. I do use a towel um, just to soak up most of the water out. Um, later on I think I use the t-shirt but I don't I'm not sure if I showed you guys so a look at my scalp. My scalp looks so amazing. It looks amazing. Alright, so today's mask is the Shea Moisture Superfood 10-in-1 Renewal System with Marula Oil and a Biotin. That is long. So this is one of my favorite masks. It has a very thick consistency. Um, it makes my hair feel nice and yummy after. I know yummy is not a word for me to use for my hair, but that's how it makes me feel. So I make sure I saturate um, from root to tips. And I do not skim when it comes to masks or conditioners because this is what revives your hair. Um, make sure I get all the back. And then I am going to add the steam cap and the shower cap for another 10 minutes before I rinse this out. Alright guys, so 10 minutes is up and you can tell the difference from when I um, just put the mask on to now when I just take it off. And you know, it did do something for my hair. Alright, so next I'm going to rinse this out with some cool water. And then add my conditioner which is the Tresemme Curl Hydration Conditioner. This is my favorite drugstore conditioner. Some might say it's bad for my hair but... My hair loves it, so, you know, mind your business. Anyways, now my hair is rinsed, and I'm going to show you what my scalp looks like. Alright, so before I add my leave-in conditioner, I'm just going to saturate my hair with some water. And this bottle is from the ET Supply Store. So the leave-in conditioner that I'm going to be using today is from Mix Chicks. And this is my favorite, hands down. I used this the last time when I big chopped. And my hair just loves this stuff. It's not cheap either. Um, this is what it looks like. It has like a slimy texture. Not too slimy, but you know, it's slimy enough for detangling and that's why I love it. And I am just going to saturate my hair with that. And run my fingers through my hair. Next, I am going to be adding some oil and in this container I have olive oil. A few drops of peppermint oil and a jojoba oil and I'm just gonna run that through my hair So 
So my styling product today is the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Pro Enhancing Smoothie. It doesn't taste, I don't know how it tastes, don't ask me. But anyway, I love this stuff. Um, I recently bought it. I used to use it before. Um, I put my mom onto this stuff. She loves it. But um, it doesn't give me no crunch. You know, it gives me a very full, thick, you know, fluffy, you know. My hair loves this stuff. All right, so to apply this um, smoothie, I'm just going to section my hair into two and then three so I do start with the back first and I'm just trying to secure my hair it's growing so fast I'm so excited um, anyways I am going to start with the back and first I run through my hair with the Denman brush just so I have no knots because I'm going to be using my fingers before I use the brush again. And as you can see, it's just going through my hair without any snagging. You could tell the back of my hair is longer than the front, obviously. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And the smell is amazing. I'm just showing you guys what it looks like right here. It is thick. Of course, I had to drop it. So clumsy. Anyways, this is the consistency. It's a cream base. It's not too thick, but it's thick enough. All right, so I'm just going to turn around so you guys can see what I am doing. First, I apply it all over the section. Then I'm going to go in between that section and use my fingers to apply it. Um, the only thing I hate about this product is that it leaves white residues um, before it dries 100%. So if I want to go on the street after I do my hair, I have to wait until it's completely dried or I just go on the, um, the road with, you know, wet hair and white stuff in my hair. Um, I've done it before, but it's not something that is cute. All right, so here I'm just using the brush to um, make sure the product gets from root to tips. And also, this brush helps to bring my curls back. Um, this brush is amazing. It's one of the best um, investment that I made. It's not expensive, but I didn't have it the last time I transitioned or I bit chopped, you know. So I, had a, I think I had a tangle tease or something like that, but my hair is too thick for that one. Um, anyways, this brush does help to bring my curls back, especially when I use a gel. Alright, so I am moving on to the front section of my hair, and I'm just going to section it off little by little. And I'm just going to do the same thing all over again. This is repetitive, so I'm going to speed this up. And then I will show you guys what it looks like in the end. All right, so all my hair is done. I know this doesn't look cute, but I promise you once it's 100% dry, it does look cute. So right now I am just um, fixing the front of my hair how I usually wear it. Then I'm gonna use the comb and a makeup part um, on the side that I usually wear it. You can see um, the brush does help my curls to come in. Ladies, comment below and tell me if you have a problem side. Like my left side is like the issue of my hair. It gives me so much issue. It's not even funny. It doesn't even curl up. Look how the right side looks better than the, the left side. Like it doesn't curl for shit. And it's always been like this. I don't know if I use too much flat iron on that side or what. 
but look at the part that I just brushed in the top. Like it doesn't, I don't know. And if I cut it, like I did cut it, it was shorter, obviously. Because it grew back and it grows back straight. Like I know I'm not the only one who has this problem. All right, so now I'm just cleaning my forehead because I am going to be adding this a new meal organic edge control edge gel with organic honey and ginger that i picked up this is not cheap um i like it and i don't like it i wish it wasn't that oily if that's what i'm supposed to say oily I don't know. I like it. It's it's the one that I reach for the most because it has that waxy feeling, but it doesn't stay all day, if I should say that. But I like it because I, I don't really like when my edges are, you know, mad hard. Um, but also, I like my edges to stay, you know, for the whole day. In this edge brush, you can get it from the beauty supply store or Walmart. I've seen it in Walmart, but I got mine from the beauty supply store. All right, guys, this is what it looks like when it's done. Um, the next clip shows you um, what it looks like when it is 70% um, dry. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Um, thank you guys again for coming back and subscribing, showing love. Um, thank you all. I forgot to mention, um, it's now been a year since I've been on YouTube. And I appreciate all the love. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.